And then I said to him, What's the ultimate, what are the ultimate goals here? He said, the ultimate, the, goal, the ultimate goal is to get everybody in this world chipped with the, chip, with the RFID chip and uh, have all money be on those chips and everything on those chips. And if anybody wants to protest what we do or violate what we want, we just turn off that chip. In the end, everybody will be locked into a monitored control grid where every single action you perform is documented. And if you get out of line, they can just turn off your chip. For at that point in time, every single aspect of society will revolve around interactions with the chips. This is the picture that is painted for the future if you open your eyes to see it. A centralized one world economy where everyone's moves and everyone's transactions are tracked and monitored, all rights removed. is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. Um, on the back of the dollar bill, you'll see the symbol on the left-hand side of the bill which is uh, Anuit Coeptus, which means our enterprise is now a success, or our enterprise is crowned with success. Anuit Coeptus. So you're saying, fine, so you have an enterprise and it's now crowned with success. What enterprise are you talking about? Novas Ordo Seclorum. Novas is novas, meaning new. Ordo is order, and seclorum is where we get the word secular, meaning the world. So it's new order of the world, the new world order. George Bush's new world order is now a success. We can exclusively reveal that George Bush Sr.'s occult name is Magog, which is the name of the evil army commanded by Satan to visit Earth and destroy the kingdom of Christ. American Ivy League colleges each have their own branches of the Skull and Bones Brotherhood of Death, indoctrinating the children of America's elite families who go on to become the captains of industry, banking, law, military, and the media. The epicenter of this elite cabal is Yale University. The last three presidents attended Yale, as did the terrorist expert Paul Bremer III, who governs Iraq for the Bush-Cheney Skull and Bones elite. Members of the Anglo-American Illuminati network also share the same philosophy. They believe in a single all-powerful superstate, which is governed by a single world leader. If the Illuminati were successful, and their dream would come true, it would be a virtual hell on Earth. That is what the New World Order is all about. It's a living hell. It's Orwell's worst dream and nightmare. The FEMA plans to imprison American citizens have generated a lot of interest around the country in locating the potential prison camps throughout the country, or facilities that have other uses but which could be quickly used to detain large numbers of people, such as this Amtrak facility in Beech Grove, Indiana. All of these apparent security measures are particularly unusual here, because this is a very low crime area, and this facility is nothing but an old train repair station with nothing in it worth stealing. In this portion of the parking lot is a brick building, suitable for processing, next to a gate that leads right out to the railroad tracks, and all of this is contained inside a fully fenced area, now three layers deep in fencing at this point. This U.S. Air Force train indicates federal and military involvement. Facing the opposite direction, you can see that this area, too, is a very large fenced area with railroad track running the length of the fence and plenty of warehouses. 
This small building is the only way into a particular fenced area. Inside this building, we see more of the motion-activated detectors, electronic turnstiles, and prison bars. Outside this building is fencing and a cattle-run section of fence, all topped by barbed wire, pointing inward not to keep people out, but to keep people in. The other side of the building, you'll see signs that say Red Zone, right up next to the railroad tracks that run the length of the fenced area. Next to the Red Zone sign, you can see closely numbered markers on the fences that are too closely spaced to be parking markers, just as if they plan to have people line up to board the trains. Looking around, you can get an idea of how huge this place is and how many people it could contain in its fenced-in area. In yet another fenced area, we see a large warehouse building at the end with the electronic turnstiles in front of it. The building is one that has a new concrete floor and its doors and windows have all been blocked. Outside there are new gas pipes. Even as we were filming, a black helicopter flew over us observing what we were doing, which has happened many times when we have been at the facility. The gas lines and gas pipes at the facility run the length of the buildings. and come out at some very, very large, brand new furnaces that have been installed at the buildings throughout the facility.